Uber's Advanced Technology Center in Pittsburgh presented some unique challenges. Um, the designers and the building owners wanted a seamless integration between the VRF equipment, which was the HVAC cooling and heating system, as well as the control system that was put on top of it, which allowed them to seamlessly monitor and control the systems that were in the building. City Multi controls are very capable out of the box, but a building that's unique like this and the challenges that it presented being very open and sprawling um, required just another level of being able to control and monitor not only the VRF system, but the third-party equipment that was required here. Things like dedicated outdoor air, uh, advanced ventilation strategies for the garages and the R&D center, and then having a single point of access and control for the owners to be able to efficiently monitor and control everything without ever actually having to be at the job site. So my role is to uh, I basically just keep the day-to-day -day operations going, make sure the building's comfortable for everybody to sit in, and any kind of issues that come up, plumbing, HVAC, stuff like that. So the building before we took over was uh, Restaurant Depot. So they sold the big box stores, refrigerator products and stuff like that. So the building was one story and was just full of coolers and refrigerator equipment. So we came in and, and wanted to turn this into a class A office space. Uh, so with that, we had to add a mezzanine level, uh, replacing a lot of windows. Uh, there was no glazing in the building. Uh, a lot of garage doors kind of compartmentalized special areas for research, machine shops, office space, common gathering areas, uh, our all hand space, cafe, things like that. So with all of those kind of unique challenges that we were faced with, uh, we kind of had to have a system that we could control zone dependent uh, and really provide the comfort, uh, not with kind of a traditional forced air system uh, where you kind of have mass cooling in, in specific zones. The engineer wanted a single responsibility, single source um, to help with the project advance through construction and to dealing with the owner's wants and needs of the um, HVAC system. So uh, combining our experience on the VRF equipment also on the, uh, on the Mitsubishi premises DOAS equipment uh, and um, utilizing the Mitsubishi controls group, uh, we, will we were able to provide that. Uh, the Mitsubishi controls solutions group was on site uh, with hard hats on and um, uh, they helped myself communicate to the contractor exactly wanted what to do during the install. This building is um, heavily zoned uh, has a lot of conference space, has a lot of office space, has a lot of open, sprawling cubicle space and workspace that all had to be very quiet, uh, closely controlled for its temperature, and again, allow um, minimal interruption for people who were servicing or having to control that equipment. Remote access is key. They need to be able to see and control building systems, whether they're at the site or not. They told us several times about how much travel they all have to do, how they're managing multiple sites, multiple buildings that are always not always next to each other. Um, so it's very important for them to be able to see and control everything remotely. So Diamond Controls allows them a window into their HVAC system, not only for VRF, but for also um, the third-party ventilation and exhaust systems that are in the building. So the uh, Mitsubishi software that we have it's nice to be able to see everything on one dashboard, all the different units that we have here, such as like the rooftop units and then the vents and everything like that. Even though they're third party, it's still tied into Mitsubishi and we don't have to log on to all separate companies, sites to check any of the stuff. So that's the nicest part, I believe, is having remote access from anywhere because uh, my job requires that we travel. So we're able to uh, access the controls from our laptops and if somebody complains that it's too hot or too cold in the area, we're able to adjust that remotely. I think that having the ability to have kind of these independent branch controller boxes in the zones, uh, being able to tie all that back to a core building management system uh, really helps us in our day-to-day -day operations. We can go around and change set points on the fly. Um, 
you know, we don't have to go around the building, search for thermostats, make sure everything's different. People, we can lock them out. People can't change them. People can't adjust them. Uh, so it really helps us kind of control the temperature in the environment uh, and, and ultimately troubleshoot if there's problems. Being that Uber in itself is a technology company and a leading edge technology company, um, they require and demand from their vendors and the people that support them the latest in you know, accessibility, software, and remote access. And, and Diamond Controls really is our ability to be able to give that to a customer like Uber. Um, you know, anything short of that, you know, they, they, they probably would be looking elsewhere or, or be um, trying to find other manufacturers who can provide such a solution. And being that we are the experts in our own equipment, it only makes sense that we provide them that interface and that technology um, so that they can efficiently operate their building. You know, obviously here at Uber, we are a technology company um, and coupled with the technology, it's it's all about kind of changing the way things work and, and promoting the best for uh, humanity, if you will, right? So uh, having systems that not only are efficient, uh, and that could be anything from lighting controls, HVAC, um, that kind of help us reduce any waste or emissions that we're producing, um, all kind of helps with our end mission um, tied with transportation. So, you know, holding vendors accountable uh, and, and having them provide the newest tech that we can incorporate into our buildings, um, you know, with high standards that we have as far as efficiency, functionality, uh, and, and end user experience, um, you know, Mitsubishi has, has clearly met that with the VRF system.